Springfield Police nab a suspect wanted in connection with a gang-related shooting in Springfield. One is now in custody, one suspect is still at large. We have the latest. A bus driver in town who police say was involved in a road rage incident while on the clock is fired. Details coming up. And after a heartbreaking loss to the Lancers in the Western Mass Championship, the Spartans look for redemption in the Battle of the Meadows on Thanksgiving. Those stories just ahead on LCAT News Update. I'm May Randall. We begin tonight with a search for a second suspect wanted in connection with what police are calling a gang-related shooting in Springfield. One suspect is behind bars tonight thanks in part to East Long Meadow Police. Police say the incident started in Springfield's East Forest Park neighborhood and wound its way into East Long Meadow. It happened Thursday night. Police tell LCAT a 22-year-old man called authorities to say he was being chased by two men in a red sports car. An individual ran into a uh, hair salon business on Harkness Avenue in East Long Meadow. They uh, reported to the people there they were being chased by people with guns. Police called the police. They dealt with 911 and of course the police responded. Um, our officers responded down there and found the person in distress, learned from him that he told the officers that he was being chased by two guys in a car um, and that they uh, they were trying to shoot him and that they had shot at him in Springfield, that this had started in Springfield and he was driving different streets trying to get away and avoid them and eventually he drove down um, a side street and he, he didn't even really understand he was in East Salmano. he just knew that he was somewhere near the line and uh, he drove down Anthony Drive. Anthony Drive is a dead end. When he got to the end of Anthony Drive realizing it was a dead end, he jumped out of the car and ran into the woods. 27-year-old Derek Lopez of Springfield is charged with, among other offenses, discharging a gun, assault with a dangerous weapon, and possessing a gun without a permit. The Springfield Street Crime Unit is investigating. In other news tonight, an East Long Meadow school bus driver charged with road rage is now out of a job. The incident happened October 21st. Police say the 70-year-old driver, with as many as 10 elementary age students on board, stopped his bus on Shaker Road, got out, and punched the driver's side window of a delivery van. An event occurred where the bus driver thought another motorist could have, uh, could have yielded to him and allowed him to go, even though the other motorist did it the right of way. Uh, the bus driver expressed some frustration with that. The other motorist expressed something back to him. Temperatures rose, words were exchanged. The bus driver went along on his route. Unfortunately, when the bus driver was coming back on his route, as he came back, that motorist was a delivery guy and had made a delivery and was still right there at that area. And the rage that he had in him at the time, the emotion, the anger, he stopped his bus and got out and went over to address this guy. And the two of them exchanged words that were rather salty uh, not fit for children, and he happened to have a bus load, well, not a load, but a number of children on the bus, elementary, young age kids, and uh, it was a very unfortunate incident for the children. It was an unfortunate incident for this driver that he would lose control, and it was also unfortunate for the, for the guy who was the target of this uh, anger. Sergeant Pat Manley says police filed charges against the driver, Stanley Barocca of Springfield, in Palmer District Court. He is charged with operating without a valid driver's license, unsafe operations, disorderly conduct, assault, and risk of injury to a child. In the meantime, the EL Superintendent's Office says Barocca is no longer working for the town. Looking at news from Birchland Park Middle School, three students from BPMS are now award winners. The East Long Meadow Lions Club sponsored the local edition of the Lions International Peace Poster Contest. Principal Tim Allen was on hand to present the awards. Student Grace Curtis took top honors for this creative poster. She wins a Visa gift card. In second place, Liz Laughlin, and in third, Maeve Jordan. The competition starts at the local level. It goes up to the district, state, and international level as the uh, competition continues. So I'd like to thank the participation of Portland Park and their staff. Congratulations to all those who entered and good luck to Grace Curtis as her entry moves on to the next level. 
In sports news tonight, a heartbreaking loss for the Spartan football team in Friday's Western Mass Division II final. After a tough first half, the Spartans brought it to within eight points, but simply ran out of time. Colin Casey and Jake Ryan called the game. They have this recap. Back here again at Longmeadow High School as East Long Meadows' season comes to a crashing halt in a 28-20 loss to the Lancers. And Jake, this season's been pretty impressive for the Spartans overall. Strong seasons, a lot of seniors playing key roles. It's going to be tough losing them. Still got another year for guys like Maggie Pinto. Got Martin next year, but losing your quarterback, Tyler Maloney, got to find someone else to step up. Might be his brother next year. Uh, Mike Maggipinto, as you mentioned, he had a very tough night tonight, but overall this season, he's had just an unbelievable year, Jake. Absolutely. It's been a stellar year all around for the Spartans. So, Spartans finished their season at a record of 8-2, and two, losing to Central earlier this year, and they lose to Law Meadow tonight. Back to you. The Spartans get one more crack at the Lancers. They will play for the division title on Thanksgiving Day. It's the annual Battle of the Meadows, which is at East Long Meadow this year. It wouldn't be Thanksgiving without this annual matchup, so don't forget to come out and support your Spartans. Kickoff is at 10 a.m. As many as 2,000 people are expected. Well, that will do it for us tonight. Thanks for watching LCAT News Update. I'm May Randall. Until next time, good night.